53-year-old Jose Zabalza had survived more than a decade of congestive heart failure. What is a heart failure? In a simple notion, in simple words, you can say that heart is failing to do its job. What is heart's job? To supply the blood to the whole body, to send the blood to the lungs to get oxygen, and send the blood to the whole body, whatever the need of the body is. Not meeting that need, the heart is failing. Jose was a very nice gentleman. He was extremely short of breath just in speaking. He had to stop and catch his breath about every two words. So I knew that his uh, limitations were significant. Jose received a pacemaker and a defibrillator, but his heart was still failing him. He could barely walk across his living room and was beginning to prepare for the worst. Considering patients don't have the opportunity to get transplants as readily as, as we would hope, this has been a very nice device to be an adjunct to until the time they can get a transplant, or for some patients, that'll be what they will live with the rest of their life. There are about a quarter million people walking around with a bad disease of heart failure, but we do about 23 to 2,500 heart transplants a year. So you put them on a list, and we will down the line, but you put them on a list, it's not a heart there out there sitting that we can put in. So we have to support it. The day after Thanksgiving, cardiac surgeon Pervez Chaudhry and the Community Regional Cardiovascular Team implanted the Valley's first portable heart pump, the HeartMate 2. We were trying to make sure that we'd done every piece of it correctly. You know, we had this gentleman's lives in our hands and we had to do this right. Um, in the operating room, it was more chaos than I've ever seen. There were so many people in the operating room, uh, but they were witnessing history. And I think that uh, everybody in there had a sense of pride that we were doing this for the first time in Fresno and for the first time in the Central Valley. And we were all excited, proud. And it's a little console and two small batteries. It's a less of a weight and stuff than most of women's purse. The HeartMate 2, developed by Thoratec Corporation, is a continuous flow pump that takes over the pumping function of the heart's left ventricle, the main pumping chamber. The device is placed just below the diaphragm in the abdomen. It is attached to the left ventricle and the aorta, the main artery that carries oxygenated blood from the left ventricle to the entire body. The small, lightweight device includes batteries and a controller, which is worn outside of the body. It can be carried in a pouch at the waist or in a vest, allowing the patient to be active and mobile. Most of these people go back to their jobs. I am certain, I mean, he just recently got it. He's a carpenter and I'm almost confident that he should go back and be able to do it. Obviously, he has taken years of insult and the body's weak. Remember, when the body's not getting oxygen, it's getting weaker. So now it's going to be a long rehab and recover, but I expect in the next three months or so, he should be strong enough to do anything he wants. I can walk a little bit, and uh, I do get tired and stuff, but as I get stronger in my recovery, I should be able Walk them all. The patients who are qualified for this are going to be our end stage heart failure patients. These are patients who have very limited ability to walk without becoming short of breath, fatigued, and unable to perform normal daily functions. Their heart has failed, and the only other option if they qualify is a heart transplant. And I think it's a great place to have such a device, such a support system. I think the community hospital has done a great job to put putting it out there, and I think it's going to be very beneficial. The HeartMate 2 is a device that gives new hope for those waiting for heart transplants. Community Regional is the first and only hospital between Sacramento and Los Angeles to have the device. For a family to be dislocated into another city in a long way from their home is very inconvenient for them. So not only are we giving the patients the opportunity, but they now can have their family here for support. And I think that's great. My family, uh, my mother, my brothers, my family, you know, with their support and the doctors and nurses that's supported me on my good days and bad days, it's awesome. 
no, I really had a great support group. Most of the centers who are placing these devices, they are heart transplant centers, so they're using for bridge to transplant. We are one of like eight to 10 centers in the whole country that we are using as either the destination therapy or bridge to transplant, and we don't do transplant. So the only thing we are not doing right now at community hospital is that we don't do transplants. Otherwise, practically any problem for the heart disease that can be managed surgically, we can. And that's a teamwork. That's a whole team from operating room to the intensive care unit to the tally. It was difficult for me to be going through individually each one, but each one of those people, they're committed to it. They're so dedicated and committed. You know, they're all awesome nurses and they love their job and that's what's uh, great about them because they care about people and they care about me and they always supported me and encouraged me to uh, continue on with my recovery. You know, some people give up, you know. I don't want to I don't want to give up. I want to continue on. So it's a huge huge commitment and I think that hospital has done a tremendous job to put in so much money in this project. For them to just say let's do it and let's take a chance and make this happen, I couldn't be more prouder because that's the kind of philosophy we want to have is to make sure that if there's something available, let's get it and let's give it to these patients so that they can benefit from it. I was almost ready to die and they brought me back to life. So I'm truly grateful to all the doctors and nurses here and they know who they are. I'm very proud of these people, how hard they work. I'm very happy to work with them. For more information on the HeartMate 2 at Community Regional Medical Center, please visit www.communityregional.org.